From Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout! And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are... El Sestra, and David Hickel. And the one who fares the best could drive off in this brand new car. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, the star of Wipeout... Welcome to a brand new season of Wipeout here on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I know our first season kind of somewhat ended abruptly without doing a proper tournament of champions, but awesome things happen. But we are ready to go again, and uh, you know what they say, the show uh, must go on. Now, if you remember, at the end of the last season, Justin Ray was our returning champion. Unfortunately, he is not able to be with us uh, right now. Uh, in between the time that we finished taping Season 1, which was at the end of December, the time we're starting Season 2, over the course of the last 10 months, Justin now works for Amazon in his area, so that kind of makes it hard to, uh, to be uh, playing game shows because those kind of hours take a lot of commitment. Nonetheless, we do wish him the best of luck with that role. In the meantime, though, we're pleased to welcome these three individuals here to wipe out to start our second season, beginning with Nell Snezrod. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thank you. All right. Uh, Nels, uh, you, of course, are a bowler. You are a cashier at Target. Uh, how busy does it get at Target sometimes? Um, During the holiday, during Christmas season, it gets busy. I see. Well... It's actually interesting you mention that because uh, at the time we're uh, taping this episode and uh, we are actually coming up to the holiday season, so it is coming up quickly. And uh, I hear you're also a pretty good bowler, too. What's your uh, highest score? Uh, a 247. A lot better than my highest score, that's for sure. It was probably, your, your high score was probably 69 something. He had to go there, didn't he? Well, yeah. I'm not surprised. If I, would, if I didn't go there, he well, would have. I'm not surprised that he went there, but no, actually, my highest score I actually achieved earlier this year was around like 170 something. Uh, actually, I have the uh, sheet right beside me here 167. We can't add two pins to that? Uh, let's just move on to our next player, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Neil Sturbinsky. Hello, Neil. For one, hi, and for once, a, a nice segue there. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. All right, uh, Neil, uh, uh, of course, uh, is a host of his own version of uh, Wheel formerly, but now uh, doing card sharks here at MVG Productions. How's that going? Oh, going very well. Um, we're just past halfway through the season at the time of recording this. I will have them up on my channel once I've finished production. So look for that in early in 2024 sometime. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing those. And we also look forward to uh, seeing Brandon Hinkle again here on Wipeout. Hello. Hello, Mark Neal. It's so good to see you as usual. Bestie, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Always a delight to have Brandon here. Uh, of course, a Burger King ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Brandon, yeah. tell me, what's the most popular food item uh, that you'd have at the Burger King you work at? Well, right now we've been selling um, chicken fries like crazy, you know, and all that stuff. And just about a few weeks ago, we started up the ghost pepper whopper and the ghost pepper chicken fries. Nice. Very nice. And uh, Brandon and I have also raced against each other a few times on uh, Disney Speedstorm, which is a very good game. Uh, for those of you who, are, who may not know what that is, it's basically Mario Kart, but with Disney characters. It's very good. That's right. And That's right. It's very good, folks. You should try it yeah. out. And it's like Mark was playing with me and Mark was you know, one day, you know. So yeah. check it out, guys. It's real and, fun. Yeah, like Brandon said, as of uh, about a month or so ago, uh, that game is now free to play. So, like, you can go ahead and download it on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation, Xbox, yeah, whatever or, or other stuff. Yeah, whatever console you own that, that has the game available. So, best of luck to the free game. Yep. All right. Best of luck to the free view. And uh, uh, the one of you that, that wins the hotspot today is going to get a $2,000 VR package. Hinkle, that's mine. Back off. 
Well, and you so never know, die, though. Girl. But you are going first, so uh, you could very well end up taking that home. But first, you need to know what the board looks like. There it is. All right, and your category that you are going to be dealing with in this round, players, we're looking for the original 31 Baskin Robbins flavors. Original 31 Aww. Baskin Robbins flavors. All right, Nels, okay. uh, you are up first, so go ahead. Okay. It's enter. Oh, right. There we go. God, I'm going to say, oh, God. Um. Oh, God. Um, let's go with the peach. All right. He says peach. Is he right? Yes, he is. All right. Well done, Nels. That's $250 in your bank. Uh, you can keep going, or you can pass it over to Neil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again. All right. What's your next choice? Um, I'm gonna try pistachio almond. All right, pistachio almond. Is that right? No, I'm sorry. So we have to take that two hundred fifty dollars away from you, but it's still very early. Neil, your turn. All right. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. Let's try butterscotch ribbon. All right, butterscotch ribbon. Yes, sir. Damn you, Neil. <laughs> All right, Neil, that's $500 going on your side. You can keep going, or you can pass to Brandon with the next correct answer, of course, being worth seven fifty. Let's go again. All right. Why, Bell? Why? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, how about chocolate mint? All right, chocolate mint. Yes, that is correct. Neil. Okay. All right, you're up to twelve fifty. We uh, still not found that hot spot yet. Uh, keep going or pass. Try it again. All right. Let's go with uh, cherry macaroon. All right, cherry macaroon. Yes, sir. There we go. Okay. Oh, you're on roll here, Neil, up to twenty-two fifty. Hmm. I'll give it one more try. All right. Famous last words. Well, since everyone's so obsessed with obsessed with it these days, it wouldn't surprise me. If coffee was one of them. Is coffee one of them? Yes, it is. Although, for the record, I am not a coffee drinker myself. Neither am I. Uh, Neil, you're up to $3,500. Uh, what's your pleasure? I think I can squeeze one more in. Okay. You'll go up to $5,000 if you can... Uh, Give me another correct answer here. Let's go with Oreos, cookies, and cream. Is that it? No, I am sorry. There goes the 3500. We may get back to you. Brandon, it is your turn. Why walk your road? All right, Rocky Road. Yes! All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six dollar signs uncovered, five to go. All right, what do you want to do now? I'll try again. All right, this next one's worth 17. Wipe out, wipe out, wipe out. Cotton candy. Now oh, you can wipe it. Okay, cotton candy it is. And that is a wipeout. Ooh. All right, well, Brandon, the bad news is that you go down to zero. But Nels, the good news is that there's only two wipeouts left on the board. And it's also your turn. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try... Oh, God. Um, Old-fashioned butter pecan. 
Is old fashioned butter pecan correct? No, it is not. Well, what? Hey, Neil, hey. um, there's only one wipeout left on the board. Let's see if you can avoid it. All right. Ah. Uh, I show it. Let's, go let's go with the eggnog. Eggnog. Yes, that is correct. And you've got I 1750. Should, I, I should have went with my gut! Dang it! Alright, let's let's continue on. Alright. Do we keep going? We're still looking for that hot spot. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's go with maple nut. Alright, we have four dollar signs left. Do we find one of them under maple nut? <laughs> we do! We also find the hot spot! Damn you, Stranisky. Alright, Neil, not only do you have the hot spot prize, but you have $3,750 in cash. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Okay, Brandon, you are up. Alright, let's try... Peppermint stick. Peppermint stick. Yep. Alright. Twenty-two fifty. What do you think? I'll pass the nails. Okay, get a pass over to Nels. So we have twenty-five hundred dollars if you can find me a dollar sign here. Oh. Lemon custard, please? Okay, you need this to stay alive here, otherwise... I be... know! Well, I have to go over this for for the home audience here. This has to be well, right. I know! And it is right. Mm. $2,500. <laughs> what will, would you like I to gotta do? go for it. I gotta go for it. Alright, now, you have a 50-50 shot here, Nels. Cherry's Jubilee or Date Night. If you get this right... You'll move on to the next round along with Neil. If you get it wrong, however, it'll be Neil and Brandon that move on. I want to go Cherry's Jubilee! To move on to the second round is Come on. right with Cherry's Jubilee. No! <laughs> and Neil and Brandon are moving on. Oh... Nels, I am so sorry. No! That was a real heartbreaker there. Uh, but you did try your very best, Nels, and we'll give you a $1,000 dollars our thanks for being here. God damn it. All right, Neil and Brandon, you're moving on to the challenge round in just a moment. Neil, I see you win. Come on, Neil. Good luck, Brandon. All right. Neil, take him down. I'm good, we'll get the old card. All right, it's challenge round time here of our remaining two players. Neil, you've won $3,750 in cash so far, and Brandon, you have $2,250. And Neil, you also won that hot spot prize in the first round as well, so you actually have $5,750 right now in cash and prizes. That is not too bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll That's some more. In fact, the two of you combined to win $8,000 in that first round, but let's see if you can take more from us here. All right, and let's get to our challenge round. And the one of you that wins this challenge round today is going to be off to Singapore. It's worth $17,618. So some big Ooh, money nice. here. All right, first one of you to win two boards will move on to our bonus round. Let's take a look at board number one. All right, for this first one, we are looking for Bruce Forsyth Game Shows. All right, Neil, uh, what is your bid? How many of those do you think you can name? Let's go with three. All right, three of them. Brandon, uh, you can uh, try and go for more, a bit higher that is, or you can challenge Neil. Um, I could try four. Could try for four. Neil. 
I'm going to challenge Brandon. Challenge Brandon. Okay. All right. Brandon, you have to give me four out of these out of eight Bruce Forsyth game shows in order to get the point. Okay. I'll start with catchphrase. All right. Starting with catchphrase. Oh, no. That is incorrect. Now, Neil, if you give me a correct answer here, you'll get the point. If not, though, then Brandon's going to get another chance. Price is right. I'm pretty sure he did Price is Right. Bruce's Price is Right, as it's called. And yep, there it is. All right. Let's see what other ones we needed. Big Night, Hot Streak, Takeover Bid, Player Cards, right? Which, of course, is uh, card trucks over there. Hollywood or Bus, You Bet, and The Generation Game. Those were the other ones that we needed. So, Neil, you already have one point. Brandon, you need this next one to stay alive. And let's take a look at our next board, okay. shall we? All right, we're looking for elements 111 through 118 on the periodic table. Brandon, you lost that last board, so you get to make the first bid on this one. Um, I'll do three. All right, he says he can do three. Neil. I will challenge him. Gonna challenge. Okay, Brandon, you have to name three of these elements on the periodic table that fall between 111 and 118. Good luck. Let's try liver. All right. Uh, liver morium, I think is what you're trying to say here. Yes, that one. Liver memorium. Yes, liver morium is correct. That's one. Um, dubium, dubium. Um. Oh, dubium. Okay, I see which one there. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. No, that is not correct. The oh, just one correct answer here, of course, will give you the point. Oh boy. Uh, let's do the Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. Tennessee, it's called. Is he correct for the win? He is, and Neil is our first champion of the season. Hmm. Good game, Brandon. All right, let's see Good the game. other ones that we needed Rowan Genium, Copernicium, Flerovium, Olga Neeson. You'll have to bear with me, folks. Some of these are a bit hard to pronounce. Moscovium and Dihonium. All right, Neil, that is a clean two to nothing sweep. Congratulations. Uh, Brandon, well, you did your best, but uh, that board, uh, yeah. but it just got a little tough there at the end. Did you have fun with us, though? You know how best, bestie, and I'll definitely be back on a future episode. Neil, good luck in the bronze one. Right. Go win that card, good sir. All right. Well, first off, Brandon, you're leaving here with $2,250, and we thank you for playing. Thank you, bestie. All right. So, Neil, with everything that you've won uh, up to this point, you have $23,368, and you're going to have a chance at a brand new car. Let's get to that. Uh, welcome to the bonus board, and if you are successful in tackling the bonus board today, you are going to win a 2024 Cadillac CT5 luxury. It's worth $43,475. Oh, so, right in style. You can. All right, so here's a look at how our bonus round works. That's our example board, which, of course, is Alan Sherman's songs. And... We know, of course, how all that works. So, I don't think I need to... Now, Neil, you've been to the bonus round 
in this game, I'm pretty sure once or twice in season one, I think. Yeah. All right. I have 10 minutes to figure it out. All right. Well, anyways, let's get right to that board and take a look at your topic. All right, Neil, we're looking for varieties of apples. You have a maximum of 10 guesses to get the six correct answers you need to win that car. Good luck. All right, we'll start with Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp? All right. Well, let's try... Calm Ice, up in the upper right corner there. Uh, calm Ice, all right. Try Seckle. Okay. Well, not 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 the video app, but the uh, cameo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cameo folks uh, may appreciate the uh, self plug. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I need to find six of these, right? Yes. You've given me four answers. You need answers just two more. All right. Let's try Bosk. Okay. And one more. And what is that? Concord. Uh, on the bottom Con row. Concord. Yes. Yeah, I'll try that one. All right. And let's lock in and see how many you have right. You have two right. Ooh. Okay. Let's remove calm ice. Okay, we're going to take calm ice off. Add in jazz. Uh, let's see. Jazz. Uh, oh, whoops. Nope, wrong one. There we go. All right. Um, then let's let's remove cameo and add in Forel. Okay. Forelli, whatever you call it. And let's lock that in. And it's still mm -hmm. too right. You have eight chances left, so you're still in good shape here. Uh, let's, let's remove 4L and add in Stark, Stark Crimson. Stark Crimson is how it's pronounced there. Yeah. And let's see. Then remove Seckle and add in Ambrosia. All right, now we'll light Ambrosia. And lock it in. All right, well, you improved a little bit here. You've got three correct now. Right. Let's remove Bosk. Add in Braybun. Okay. Remove Starkimson and add in Jana Gold. Okay. And let's lock that in. Oh! Okay, Neil, you've got five right. If you can substitute one of these answers for the uh, correct sixth answer, you've got the car. God. I... I'm going to just... I'm... And... So... Hmm. Remove Jana Gold and add in. Mm, calm Ice. Okay, we're going to put Calm Ice back in. that one again. Lock it in. Okay, you have All right. correct. You went down a little bit, but you have five right, guesses. That, 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 that narrows some stuff down, though. So. All right. Turn off Calm Ice and turn on Jana Gold. Uh, 
Uh, remove Braybon. Okay. Uh, and re add Seckle. All right. Mm, let's lock that in. Four right. You have four chances left. All right. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, let's remove Seckle. 